Hello and welcome, I'm your code monkey. So here's a quick video about something I get asked quite a few times. Here a student emailed me asking about my C-sharp course and saying, I was just curious if there's a new version of the course in the works. I want to join the course, but I'm currently hesitant because I'd prefer to wait and see if there are new course materials, updates, upgrades coming. I hate to pay for something twice. I don't know how often updates or changes to code may occur. So my fear is that the information may quickly become obsolete and essentially wasting time. Otherwise, I'm happy to register. So if this kind of question is something that I get every once in a while, it's actually something that is very important, but at the same time, it's nothing to worry about. So I want to take this quick video just to explain about it. This fear over here is definitely a very valid fear. The fear that the information may quickly become obsolete and essentially wasting time. I can definitely understand that. Nobody likes to waste time. Nobody likes to learn things that are obsolete. But thankfully, this is very much not the case. At least, let's say 99% of the time. So like answering my reply here, hey there, the course is only a few months old, so everything is up to date. This is specifically talking about my C-sharp course, but again, what I'm talking about here refers to pretty much any course, any tutorial from anyone you want. Literally pretty much any kind of learning content, what I'm saying here applies. And C-sharp is a very mature language, which doesn't change much. So even 10 years from now, this course will still be up to date. And every future update won't be free, so you won't be asked to pay for anything else. I'm currently working on an update adding C-sharp beginner projects. When I'm done with those, you'll simply see the new lectures. So that is specifically talking about the beginner project section that I've added relatively recently. But again, more importantly, is the concept of things not being up to date or things becoming obsolete. And when it comes to C-sharp, C-sharp really is a very mature language. It has existed for literally years, literally decades at this point. The C-sharp programming language first appeared in 2000, so 25 years ago. So it's a very mature language. And importantly, the core of the language doesn't really change. Back in the year 2000, 25 years ago, you still had things like variables, you still had classes, you had functions. So really the core of it doesn't really change. For example, here's a C-sharp tutorial from nine years ago. And yep, look at the code. You still got namespace, you got classes, you got functions, you got variables of all the various basic types. You've got console.writeLine to write something to the console. So this code that was valid nine years ago and it's still valid nowadays. So when it comes to C-sharp and programming languages in general, they really don't change too much if you learn the core concepts. Again, things like variables, arrays, functions, those kinds of things, those are really very much fixed. Those don't change anything, so you can watch tutorials from many, many years ago and everything will still work fine. And even the same thing mostly applies to Unity tutorials. For example, if you go to my channel, you'll look at my oldest tutorials. Over here, you can find tons of them. And if I locate a random one, like this one for bouncy grenades for a demo man character, this was seven years ago. And you have a look at this code. So here we've got some kind of player handling class. We've got a transform. We've got a list. We've got the void start. We've got on shoot events. We've got mono behaviors. We've got serialized fields. So literally pretty much the exact same thing you would write nowadays. Everything is still here. The one thing that might change are basically some tools. For example, Sin Machine. This one got a pretty massive update from version 2.0 to version 3.0. It basically completely changed how the components actually work. So for some rare cases, for some tools like this, you might indeed find some tutorials are indeed outdated. But again, like I said, for 99% of the time, especially if you're focused on the core of it, if you're focused on things like physics queries, on basic logic, making a basic state machine, making some AI, those kinds of things, the core of it doesn't really change. Phys doesn't change, C Sharp doesn't change. So you can find old tutorials from like 10 years ago and you can follow them and chances are 99% of it won't work just the same. Another example is my free Kitchen Chaos course. So this one is now two years old. And on this one, yep, I also get very much similar comments. People asking about does this tutorial work in Unity 6.1 or some of the code might be obsolete. And the answer is exactly the same thing that I said, which is this course specifically doesn't really use anything too custom. So on this one, yes, everything still works in 6.1. But again, as I always say, I always highly recommend you use the exact same version for that exact reason, which is how some menus might be in slightly different places. Whereas if you use the exact same version, it matches what you see in the video 100%. You can do all that and then learn everything from the tutorial exactly as intended. And then at the end, you can just upgrade the project to 6.1 to see all the various differences. In this specific case, you will see there are pretty much no differences. You can literally port this project, complete it first in the original version, port it to 6.1, and it will work flawlessly, no issues, no problems. So if you think the same way as this student, if you do have this, again, very valid fear, the fear of wasting your time and learning something that is obsolete, if you do have that fear, then I would say, for the most part, don't be afraid, because again, in 99% of the time, it is not going to be an issue. So find whatever learning content you can find, then learn from it, and chances are what you learn will still be applicable. By the way, I'm hard to work on finishing my upcoming free complete Lunar Lander course. This is a really great course on making a Unity 2D game. So it's a great course for either complete beginners or some nice intermediates. This is a fun game to make. I've got everything almost done. And just like my other free course, there will be a free version over here on YouTube and a premium version with some really nice bonuses. If you want my summer 2025 bundle, this one includes the course and this bundle is ending soon. So if you're interested, check it out in the link in the description or stay tuned for the free YouTube video hopefully coming out next week. All right, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.